No. And well, there is always something to do I with mean, the business. It, girl, <laughs> All right. Was... Hey, everybody. Um, Victoria Randall, The Secret Cocktail. Um, I am doing a site visit. I'm so excited. A site visit uh, at Arise Health Institute. You guys, the school is beautiful. You've got to see this. I always want you to see like different options of how you can set things up. So I want you to see this. What is on my mask? I need to get a different mask. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, this is the owner. Hey. <laughs> Introduce yourself. Hey, I'm Chastity Oaks from up at the Rise Health Institute. So. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take you guys through to see the uh, facility and let me get started. All right, so as soon as you come in, beautiful area, beautiful sitting area for students to be able to um, do their applications. All right, she's got it branded beautifully. So tell us about over here, Chastity. Um, so I have a software uh, system set up to where uh, it'll keep attendance for me as, as well as various other student um, information. But when the student comes in the door, I'm making them accountable for their time and attendance so that they have to be able to do their, they check in when they get here. So if they get here 10 minutes late, it's mm -hmm. not up to me to put them in 10 minutes late. They're right, them right. Got um, you. And they can check their own temperature, get their hand sanitizer, and come on through the door and have a seat. So, All right, let's go know. in. <laughs> All right, what you got? Um, so I also am, uh, have a phlebotomy EKG and patient care technician program. So I have um, the phlebotomy chairs or the practice chairs. Uh, these are my arms. I just have them out on display right now. I just had a, a site visit with uh, Gentex, so they, I had to have them out. Um, but this is, these are, this little uh, mobile cart here is just for supplies for the phlebotomy program. Uh, just, just my vacutainers and things like that, alcohol prep pads. I love this because it looks like hospital, like in real life. <laughs> yeah, just to have my posters up, you know, showing blood collection sites. All right, we got two whiteboards. So you yes. got a whiteboard here and one over there. Yes, um, just for whatever I need to write on them, because we will do a lot of instruction. Okay, you got your TV and you got your, um, yes. looks like your projector set up, right? Yeah, nice. Um, I really like my projector. I, I went ahead on and spent a little extra cash. That way it'll come down nicely. Yeah. Um, so that way I'll have it, you know, everything's automatic. So I don't have to go and pull and do, I can pretty much sit in one spot and get it. Gloves, goggles, all that's there. Um, somebody practically gave these to me, so I'm gonna get some slides of different Ooh, nice. parts of the body so that the students are able to you know, yeah. have some extra time they can do that. Um, I teach in Tokyo, sorry. I have my, I have my jacket on, it's holding on to me. <laughs> um, especially with the CNA program, we're supposed to be doing a lot of projects, so I have this on wheels. So it has all types of art supplies, um, magazines for the students, extra notebook paper, pens, pencils, that were, you know, anything they need to do. The posters are back there. Nice. So that we can do our, I don't know, PPE posters, isolation, whatever posters. Whatever type there. of poster. So that's good for, um, yes. So, you know, remember you guys, you're thinking about as you're teaching, are you going to do case studies? Are you going to do projects, posters? Are you just going to lecture? So I love that. You prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Everything should be here. Your clean sheets, blankets, um, and toiletry supplies are all here for the student to be able to, to gather their supplies mm -hmm. before they get ready to walk in. Sorry, my Hoyer lift. I like the Hoyer lift. Where'd you get the Hoyer lift from? Uh, Facebook Marketplace. Somebody got rid of it for 100 bucks. Look at that, guys. 100 bucks. Do you know how much, do you know how much Hoyer lifts cost? I know. Nice, nice. Um, but yeah, so the student will be able to gather their supplies. We're going to do our fake knock on the door. You know, hello, my mm -hmm. friends, and be able to go to um, the 
actual the mannequin. All right. So um, over here, I did. Um, I just hung all my um, like stethoscope things to take vitals with. Love it. Um, I labeled everything. I tried to do it, but so I took the CNA um, equipment list. The equipment list uh -huh. and the um, let's see what, when you get ready to like feeding, toileting. Got you, the checklist, the, the skills, skills, skills checklist. Skills checklist, uh -huh. and try to separate everything else. So that's okay. What I did. Um, so that way you get here. These are all the feeding supplies, the bibs. Um, this is all part of toileting and taking stool samples. Everything's there. Mm -hmm. um, and I just bought these. I, I don't, you know, dentures. Where'd you get your dentures from? eBay. Yeah. And I have a platform, you know. <laughs> so I fight hard for these dentures. These dentures are well. Those dentures are hard to find. Hard to find and at a good price. Yeah, I know. So, um, so, but that, that's how I have it separated out. Okay. Um, my post-mortem kit, so just, you know, they're in here. All right. Uh, eight belts, heel, elbow protectors, everything that has it there. All right. It's nice. All right, so we got two bed setups here. Mr. and, is it, well, this you know. This is Ellen. My daughter said that she reminds her of Ellen. <laughs> Ellen, okay. Um, I, I found Ellen at a movie prop store, and I topped the guy down from $400 to $200, so I got her for, at a movie prop store. Uh, Shirley, my, my lovely Shirley, I got her in New York when I went there to help out with the COVID pandemic. Yeah. Uh, she, somebody was getting rid of her for $100, and they were close by to the hotel. So I had a guy bring it to the hotel, and of course security got called. <laughs> some dude showed up with a mannequin and then he had her dressed like a hippie which was, it was really funny but he wanted to go up the house so this is Shirley um, and then I have Morgan Morgan I, I got him for $40 so I decided to give him oh my gosh you know what but he has my male parts I need Got you. So that so what you what chastity? It sounds like what you did to me then is some of them don't have interchangeable, so you were able to get a mannequin that one mannequin that had male, one mannequin that had female. Yes. That, that yes. Yeah. So he's he's using my my male parts and male male period here. Cool. And then she's got EKG going on over here. Yep, EKG machine. Um, the calipers are down there. Nice. You were looking, but you know what? It takes time, right? It does take time. This is this has been a two year journey for me to get to this point. So as you know. Yes. <laughs> I think I've been talking to you almost that amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I tell everyone. It takes time. People what do you mean six months? What do you mean three months for you just you to do for you to do the paperwork? I'm like, it takes a long time like three months is expediting you have no idea <laughs> and then of course working full-time i have two teenagers with two separate schedules so it can be done um it just it just it just has to yep take your time yep um and i set up my computer station this way because i'm wanting to be a testing center uh, for pearson oh nice so this is part of their specs that i had to have the five foot and then the camera so everything's watched wow so look at you nice now did pearson have a um a specification on how many you have to have at least set up for at them least, for the testing uh at least three so okay. I'm, I'm right at the right at the three for that right okay at their requirements but um state of georgia i was hoping to do ged testing here but i didn't realize the state of georgia they their uh, can, can, uh college technical college system oh. they have the grip on that okay so, it can't be done outside of that. Whereas other states it'll allow you to, but Georgia does not. Okay. Um, so Look at that. She's know. thought of everything, guys. She's got a water cooler. Yeah. Hopefully I'm a coffee maker back here eventually. My gosh. Yeah, this is really nice. So um, I hope you guys are able to get some ideas from Chastity at Arise. This is just beautiful. I mean, you have really done your thing. I love the curtains. She's got the curtains set up. Was that was that hard getting the curtains done? I know that's a question people uh, have. You no, know, actually, it, it wasn't. So I um I just bought the stripping and just I I zip tied it. I just drilled holes into the stripping and zip tied it to the metal piece mm -hmm. here, and it made it very nice and sturdy because these things are heavy. Um, and then my other 
issue I had with my ceiling being so high. I just had my um, my stepmother to she. Um, oh, okay, she hemmed it up. Yeah. So that it actually will provide you know the privacy I needed. So then I got these off eBay for I think about thirty dollars a curtain, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty reasonable. Cool. Nice. Well, any questions, anybody? Everyone said it's beautiful, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my other mask, which reminds me, I got you a mask. Oh, chastity. Thank you. <laughs> this is for you, your I train CNAs it. mask. I train CNAs, I do. <laughs> I'm excited. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, guys. So we're gonna get, get ready to do this site, site inspection. Um, we're gonna go through like a mock inspection of what the state would do when they come. So um, thank you so much for joining us. I hope this was inspirational. Bye.